Hi there, my name is Joe Schulte. I'm co-founder of Oxalis Pharmaceuticals. Uh, we're a spin-off company from the Massachusetts Institute Te of Technology, and we're developing disease-modifying therapeutics for neurogenic diseases. So we are incorporated in 2011. And um, let, me, let me just stress how awful it is to have a neurogenic disease. There's really no therapeutics out there at all. And so this patient population is really desperate. Um, the other thing about neurogenic diseases is that there's this incredible social stigma attached to it, so much so that all these individuals here, uh, you probably didn't realize were afflicted with a neurogenic disease. So you might think it's pretty bold to try and tackle neurogenic diseases. However, I'd like to argue that the technology has changed so much that now is the time to really uh, tackle this. And so here on the left, uh, we have a normal uh, healthy uh, brain and on, beside it is a diseased uh, neurogenerative brain. And so what you can see here is that the brain is atrophied. And so what underlies this atrophying is neuropathology that's caused by toxic protein aggregates. And so in the last few years, we've really started to pin down uh, what proteins are in those aggregates, and we've identified the genes. And so what Oxalis is doing is we're taking these uh, human disease genes, and we're expressing them in uh, primary cultures, and they're plated here on support matrices. Then we're taking large drug libraries and applying them one by one, and we're looking for drugs that disrupt the protein aggregates and also improve the morphology. So we've conducted two successful screens, one at Harvard and one at MIT. And uh, we've identified two compounds um, that we're calling OXD4 and OXD5. And these are repurposed drugs uh, that we're moving forward into clinical trials. So the um, market size is very large, as you can see here. And uh, Oxalis has uh, the potential to capture a significant portion of this market because our um, Drugs have the potential to slow, stop, or reverse the progression of the disease, while the existing therapeutics out there are treating simply the symptoms. So our drugs are also targeting very new mechanisms, so they're likely that they'll be first in class. And our compounds, as I mentioned earlier, are repurposed, so which means that they have a long established safety record. So there's, uh, it's unlikely that there'll be any sort of um, uh, hiccups in the early stages of the clinical trials. Uh, the other advantage is that we have seven to ten years of market exclusivity, which is additional revenue, of course. So over the next five years, we aim to raise uh, nine million dollars. And this will bring our lead compound, OXT4, to uh, the end of phase two. Uh, so we expect revenue in five to seven years. So we've assembled a strong team uh, that includes seasoned pharma veterans. Catherine Sepp and myself co-founded the company. And uh, Catherine is a Harvard neuroscientist, and we've collaborated for about 15 years, and we've produced numerous uh, papers together. We have two directors. Uh, one is a serial entrepreneur, and the other is a seasoned pharma veteran that has experience in both large and, far and small pharma. More recently, we started to work with consultants. We have Asa Peterson, who's a uh, world expert in neuroendocrine, in neuroendocrine pathology, and she's helping us with our clinical trial design. And we also have Lynn Baird, who's our FDA regulations expert. Uh, we're mar mentored by MARS and the Rick Center, and when we were in Boston, we were mentored by the VMS and the Harvard Catalyst Translational Medicine Program. So what I would like to gain from this new entrepreneur program is access to your network of contacts, and the other great benefit would be uh, just more opportunities to promote the company. And uh, thank you very much.